that was a good one. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm gonna show you the technique for forehand counter topspin. Now, here's a scenario. Your opponent does a loop. The ball comes at you with lots and lots of topspin. What do you do? Up to a certain level, a lot of players, they're just gonna try and block the ball back. But at higher levels, players will try to counter topspin, okay? A much stronger shot. How do we execute this shot? Well, you're gonna hear from England international player, Charlotte Bardsley. Charlotte has played professionally in Germany and represented England in the 2022 Commonwealth Games. So let me pass you over to Charlotte. <laughs> it's really important to have an active passive game because you're not necessarily going to be able to attack first all the time. So how are you able to put pressure on the opponent and, and still win points even when you're not necessarily the, the, per, the, the person getting in first? And one of the ways to do that is with a forehand counter, which is sort of like a mini topspin. The, the first thing you need to do is imagine that you are going to play a forehand block. So you're in a low position, um, your racket is in front of you. The moment you see that their forehand or whatever their shot is um, weaker, that's when you sort of realise, hmm, I can, I can counter this. So you start in the forehand block position, kick your racket up, go forward, and essentially you're wanting to smother the ball. So close your racket angle. You know, use your forearm and your wrist and accelerate forward. So you're not looking to generate any more power you're using their speed and their spin, and that's why it's called a counter, because you're, you're using their speed and spin against them. And so you accelerate forward with a, with a short um, follow through. So it's very much like a compact forehand topspin, essentially. I'm still rotating because I need to control the ball. The important thing here is, is like you're trying to absorb their top spin. So you're looking to cushion the ball with your and using your body to stabilize yourself and then accelerate forward. If I'm wanting to play across then my feet are pointing more, sh more to the corner, straighter there, and my body's turning that way. If I wanted to play down the line, I just change the direction of my feet so I'm pointing to the corner. I open my body up slightly, so I open up my, my hip and then point the racket there. So actually, you need to point the racket where you want it to go. Cool, sir. Oh. I, t I, I recommend taking the ball at peak of, bounce, peak of bounce or just before. Not early. If it's early, it's going to go in the net. So peak of bounce or just before peak of bounce, that's the optimum time to hit the ball. The key to a good counter topspin actually starts before that with your receive. So generally, um, someone will have done a forehand open up and then you've countered. So you need to make sure that your, your long push is um, it's deep, it's fast, it's spinny, so that their open up is not very strong and then you can like, exploit that and play the forehand counter and it's, not, it's sort of like a good um, th reverse third ball attack. Like Instead of you spinning first, you, you, you let them get in first because you've done an aggressive receive and then you can counter it. And that's sort of like a very good strategy. Ah, it's nice. Ah. 
Oh, don't reach, she slowed it down. Oh, very good timing. Some excellent tips from Charlotte there. Charlotte will be appearing in more videos over the next year. So if you found her tips useful, then please subscribe to my channel. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other fantastic video tutorials on table tennis. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.